All right, so Stability AI has released a new open source LLM that allows you to generate audio on your computer locally, okay? Um, this is actually May 14th, and the reason why I'm making this video now is that they've recently updated it, and now they have Stable Audio Open 1.0, which is slightly better. It runs better on edge devices like my laptop, and this is the tool I'm actually installing right now um, called Stable Audio Tools, and I'll show you this installation just so you believe me. Um, I've essentially made this file here, which describes to cursor what to do. Okay, so essentially this script is going to first check, do I have Python? Um, do I have Windows and Git? And do I have a GPU, which I do? So I have all these things, it should just skip through. It makes a local environment because I don't want all these things installed globally to my laptop. I want it in this folder and then um, it'll start doing things. So that's kind of where it's at right now. You can see it's installing CUDA and this takes a long, long time. These are huge files. So let me open this here. You can see it's installing all these things. Okay, and while it's installing those, I have already installed it in another folder. So let me show you what it looks like when it's running. Hopefully this is what we will get at the end. Okay, so this one is running. I did this as a test before. You can see here's an output file. I'm not gonna spoil the magic. Um, so all these things have installed locally. I have the, um, the, uh, the model, the model from Hugging Face is installed in here. And this is essentially a test file, test underscore generate.py. And what it's gonna do is gonna, it's going to run this file here, which uses this prompt. So let's actually change it to something new. Let's do um, badass, um, I don't know, beatbox tune. Okay, and the cool thing about this is that I'm gonna run it, let's just do 10 seconds. Let's do eight seconds, nice and round number. I'm going to run this and it's going to happen all completely locally. Test generate dot pi. Okay. Again, this is pretty cool. All local and all open source. So anyone can use this. So it runs this script. It's actually quite fast. This is running on my GPU. It also does work on a CPU. So if you don't have GPU, that's totally fine. Um, but it's, it's quite fast. So let's see. You give me one second, you'll see, we'll start generating. There you go, boom, 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 boom. Done, that's as fast as it takes to, that's as fast as it takes to generate on my device. And now let's see this result. Play. All right, well, you can see the quality is not amazing, but 100% free, 100% local, pretty fast. Uh, also, something else to note is there is a, um, a a GUI, a graphical user interface. Let me find that command really quick. Here, here we go. I got it. So this graphical user interface is called Gradio, right here, Gradio.py, um, and this command will run it. The reason why I have to add this stuff is because I'm running this locally, but this is going to allow me to use my browser to tweak the model, right? So this was this the beatbox we got. <laughs> And that's just kind of like the default settings. But what, what Gradio does is allows you to tweak those default settings. Now I will note, even with this, it's still quite hard to get high quality. Um, unless you spend a lot of time installing different kind of filters and tweaking these things for your device, uh, the, the quality is gonna be quite low. But again, it's cool that this is all local. So this is Gradio. I could do something like, um, uh, la 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 la, let's see. Um, la 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 song, all right? And again, here's all the different things you can do, the different parameters, sampler types. Again, I have just the basic, so it has ping pong, which is kind of just the basic, different steps. Um, I actually played with these a little bit and I could not get something good to come out. Um, so don't, don't uh, expect a lot from this. But this is also kind of cool. It gives you this uh, visual, I forgot what it's called, a spectrogram, which is, this is the sound that is created. And you can send to, how do I do this again? I forgot. Generate, send to init, er, forgot. Output audio. All right, kind of scary and weird. Um, again, this is why I don't use this interface because there's a lot of different things here that I don't understand. All right, and let's go back to our in installation and see how it's doing. So you can still, again, this takes forever, right? So you can see it's still installing all these different um, libraries and stuff like that. If you guys want, I can share this file here. 
uh, just let me know in the comments. I won't share it unless you guys tell me. But if you do want to have this, sure, I will drop this into some sort of um, repo and then you guys can just drop this into your personal cursor environment and it will install. But like I said, this is set up for my personal environment. Um, I'm going to let this install and get back to you in just a second. So you can see right now it's installing, oh, it's actually installing the stable audio tools, which is the, the software that we're going to be using, the open source platform. Okay, so let's actually run this now. It's done. I'm going to change this. Okay, so UI, button click. Let's actually run this one. So it's, this one is called this pi. Oops. There. Pi test simple good dot pi. Oops. Sorry, you got to go to the correct one. Stable audio tools. Yep. And then this one is pi test simple good dot pi. All right. And just to see if it works, let's run this. And this one's going to be doing a UI button click, just like before I showed you. Again, it's the same, same stuff. It's going to have, uh, it's going to essentially replace this here, the output. And hopefully this one is higher quality. Oh, we got some sort of error there. Sample two. Okay, well, let's just do the other one, the uh, test generate, because I know that one worked. Test underscore generate dot pi. What is it doing? Okay, so let's just copy that over. Let's do um, uh, smooth UI button click. Save it, run it. Okay, just like before, it's going to create this output wave. Okay, and then let's see what it sounds like. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we didn't need 11 seconds for it. Oh, a single button click. Okay. Not too bad. Like if you're making an app or something, you can use that as your sound effect. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you want to have that uh, file, let me know. I will share it. I hope it was helpful for you. Bye-bye.